Okay, in the last episode, we found our first Youth Academy player, and that is Kai Jakobsen from Norway. Maybe the next Erling Holland, and he had one of the best youth player debuts ever on the channel. Like, he helped us win some very big games, and has put us in position to maybe survive this group of death. Now, we have a huge deciding match versus PSG, and also today, we enter the January transfer window. And yeah, signings will be made. So, of course, drop a like if you are enjoying this series, and let's get back right into it. Now, to start this episode, we are at our house. We're in the backyard just chilling. It's been a stressful first few months as a Dortmund manager so we're trying to relax because it's about to get even crazier now as we're chilling our phone buzzes and the caller ID says Eric Ten Hag what could this be about now first comment there's a Dutch player named Joel Hato is it Hato or Hato I have no clue but he has a potential of 88 and is uh, currently playing for Ajax you can use him as left back and center back yeah now he looks like a very good player for the future and uh, right now he's actually not that expensive now I think after this season Hummels is leaving I think he's gonna leave on a free contract basically so maybe Hato could be like a signing for next season to replace Hummels. That sounds like a decent idea. Now, next one, we can put Jakobs in a challenge. If he scores a certain amount of goals, he can get rapid plus like Holland. The uh, play style. Okay, I like that idea a lot too. Now, he's going to be 70 rated. He's already scored two this year. What should the goal number be? I feel like we should make it like 12, maybe. Maybe 10 or 12. If Jakobsen could score about 10 or 12 goals this season, then he'll earn that play style for next season. That sounds like a good idea. And our last one, the fullback's really flat. I think it'd be a good idea to take a look at Sasha Bowie. Yeah, I feel like right back is a spot we need to address in January for sure. We just like don't have enough speed on our fullback spots. And Sasha Bowie would be amazing but he's just gone to Bayern in real life. So I feel like that's not an option anymore, unfortunately, but there are other options here. Now, some news just leaked online that Eric Ten Hag is trying to salvage his relationship with Jadon Sancho. And with May United in need of January reinforcements, they're looking to the cheapest option, bringing Sancho back. So May United want to recall Jadon Sancho in January. Now, I would say so far in the first half of the season, Sancho has been good for us. I like having a player that can play on the wing at Cam that's as creative as him. So if it were up to me, I'd keep him, but I don't know how Sancho feels about it. But if he wants a second chance at United, we're going to have to have a little sit down and talk with him but first we find out if we survive in the champions league so final match day versus psg we're currently in second place now there's a lot of different outcomes here but basically we need to draw or beat psg and that gives us the best chance of getting out of the group but if we lose and then milan newcastle ends in a win for either of those teams then that means we're probably not making it out of the group so if we can beat psg here we make it out safely out of the group of death now as we remember though this team killed us in the last meeting so it is not gonna be easy now i think i'm gonna start mats in the left back for that pace because we need that versus their uh fast wingers i think I might start Nemecha over Wolf too, just for more pace, basically. And then I think Sancho at Cam for Royce because Royce is a little bit tired. And I think we go with that lineup right there. And honestly, Jakobsen scored some big goals for us, so I think he makes the bench over uh, Makoko. I feel like we have to do that. I mean, he's played so good in his uh, two appearances, so we go with that lineup versus PSG. And this right here is the biggest game of the first half of our season. Yeah, I just like have no clue what this is gonna go. Like we're at home this time, so that should give us uh, a better advantage than last time. But PSG are just so good, and they literally destroyed us last time. But if we can pull it off and survive the group of death, I mean, that would be such a big achievement. So. Let's see if we can do it. Emery Chan into Sancho. Come on, I need a good start here. Haled, Haled, play it through. Oh my, this could be a dream start. No, he's offside. No, there's no, how close was that? No, Marlin, that was such a good finish. How close is it? Oh, come on, that's so close, right? Come on, show me the other player. I can't even see it. Bro, that is so close. That would have been a dream start right there. Come on, we're a better team since they last beat us. We're a better team. We got to try and show that. But already Mbappe, nightmare to defend. Schlotterbeck, oh my. Mbappe's already done me. He has already destroyed me with that skill move. Okay, penalty for PSG. What? Four minutes in, we could have scored on one end. And now they have a penalty? Yeah, I just basically went for a tackle and Mbappe destroyed me. Okay, Mbappe versus Koble. Mbappe goes to the right. Koble. Koble, what a save. In a game like this, that is huge. Okay, wait, chance is not done yet Koble a double save basically what a moment okay let's see if that gives us some life here corner in that is caught by Koble. okay we survived that let's uh let's not do that again now as i say that they're in again which i'm blocking the pass i'm blocking it and then i thought that was another penalty i was about to scream actually it's a good save by Koble though and belay cross in haled that is not the best clearance direction i'm not sure that's also not good clearance bro you're telling me that's a foul bro they are getting all the calls right now they are getting every Single call. Koble grabs it. Okay, come on. Let's wake up, please. Emre Chan to Sebastian Aled. We got a runner. Malin. I think he's offside again. Okay, we need to slow down. We're moving way too aggressive passing-wise. And leaving ourselves open. Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck. Okay, we got to clear that. We got to clear that. We're just so slow. After that goal was rolled offside, bro, we've just been so flat-footed. It is now 1-0 to PSG. Now, there is an outcome where if we draw this game, there's a chance we still make it out. So, we got to go for a draw at least. Man, I wish that first goal wasn't offside. Matson gives it a moment. Matson, I need that pace on the wing. I need it. There it is. Into Sebastian Aled. Gets it over. No, Sancho was right there. Wait, Malin steals it. Into Jaden Sancho. Sancho puts it 
Oh, is it wide or over the net? Oh, that's a golden chance, Sancho. I need you to score that. It goes wide, not even over the net. I thought I put too much power on it, but it just goes wide. Bro, two chances where he should be in this game, but they come down the field. Matson, Matson, very good defending from the uh, Chelsea Loney there. I like to see that, but we should be in this game right now, way more than we are. Slaughterback, Slaughterback on Mbappe, Slaughterback this time. Okay, Nemecha helped out. That was some good help there. First 30 minutes has been eventful. There's no way. There's no way. Wait, what? You were telling me that's a red card? Bro, they are getting every single call right now. We are down to 10 men? I was making a tactical foul there. Oh, come on. That's not a red. There's no way. He wasn't in direction of the goal there. Are you kidding me? We're down to 10 men now. Okay, Hummels comes on for... What do we even do here? Oh, man. This is just so bad. Okay, I'm gonna do Sancho to the right. You gotta take off uh, our cam, basically, and put Hummels at center back. Bro, I cannot believe that. Eddie Emi is sacrificed for this game. And now, Kylian Mbappe from the free kick spot is going to... He's to score that i'm gonna throw up i i can't believe what i've seen it is 2-0 to psg they might be just the better team by a wide margin here okay turan we got space here actually turan okay we need to hold it though we got no number 10 this is gonna be a little awkward that is gonna be header into a lead Haled gets it over no i need someone running there quicker we score one there's a chance if we score one we just gotta put the ball in the back of net though okay turan into Malin. Malin crosses it over to... Oh, I thought that was going to go to uh, Sancho. Oh, we're just so slow on every second bounce. Oh, my. Slaughterback just saved a goal there. Bro, every bounce, we're just so much slower than the PSG players right now. Led into Matson. Okay, Matson, I need you a good pass here. Get it to Malin. Malin cuts inside. Oh, man. It, Kim Pembe just caught up so quick there. Last chance, first half. Led can flip it up okay that's gonna be blocked but that's fine Turam into Matson. one final cross Matson crossover Sancho it's gonna go right to Donnarumma okay 2-0 this is within reach but if it goes to 3-0 then we're done then it depends on the other match of the day okay second half we're going to a 3-5-2 this is probably our best chance here so we fight for our Champions League lives down to 10 men bro we could have scored that first goal if it was on side this big this game would be so much different it makes me sick to think that okay please don't concede two minutes in. It's going to be called back for a foul. Bro, they have got so many calls this game. Mbappe, are you shooting this from this far out? There's no way. Okay, he's flipping up. Waterback. No, that's going to be a good save by Koble, actually. So that man advantage is going to be so hard to defend now. Benino shoots, and Koble makes another big save. Koble, you're going to be busy in the second half. I can I can tell you that. Benino, another shot. That's going to be another shot. Koble makes another save. This is about to be ridiculous. One of this time swung in, and that is uh, cleared by Haled. There is just so much space in our back line, and they're going to shoot that. Koble is saving us right now, at least barely. Corner in out by Nemecha. We gotta get this ball out though right now. This is the longest attack ever. Mbappe, Turam, Turam. Great tackle on Mbappe. Might be our one chance to counter off this. This looks decent. Gotta win that. No, we gotta win that ball there. Yeah, they're playing aggressive. They're trying to like close this game and end it right now. Now Malin up to Haled who will shoot and okay that's 2-1 we are back in this that goal came out of nowhere that pass by Mullen was so good and then Haled that one touch that touch was so good too okay is there a chance we could draw this right now we got 30 minutes hey the fight from this team is showing though okay, Emery Chan is hurt which is not good that's a good that's a bad pass though our PSG getting nervous here Sancho into a lead in a match I need you to run match that no man he just he did not make the run I needed there okay, I think Emery Chan is good so that's good Hummels Hummels okay Risky, risky, but we need to do it. It, it works. It make me scared, though. Sancho into a let, a let. No, I need that to be, like, a really powerful through pass to Malin. Yeah, we're gonna need some subs, I think. More subs. Slaughterback, good tackle there. Mbappe, please, no. No. Goes to Lee Kang in, and Koble makes save. No rebound. Still a chance. Dembele versus Slaughterback. No, what is happening here? Oh, my. I don't even know what just happened there. All over. This is so bad. We are playing so risky right now, but Koble grabs that cross. Led through to Nemecha. Nemecha could win that. He does. Nemecha gets it through. Two. Jaden Sancho shoots and Donnarumma saves it. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Okay, I'm going to do Wolf for Nemecha. I'm going to do Royce for Sancho just for fresh legs. And I think we leave it at that right there. Come on, Royce. I put you in for this corner here. Corner. Swung in. Sebastian Alet. No, I thought that was right at him. Okay, Royce gets it over. It's going to be Kefren Turam with a finesse shot. Oh, that shot looks so good. Come on, Sebastian Alet. I need that corner technique. No, that one's too close to Donnarumma. All right, 10 minutes. We're still alive here. All in. To Royce, Royce, Royce keeps it. No, we got tackled from behind too, though. Thought I would at least like draw a foul there. Moani, Moani. No, no, no. Okay, Hummels, Hummels. Hummels is using all his pace here. Just clear it. Just clear it. We got to be safe. We got three minutes. We got like one chance here, maybe. Royce into Haled. Royce gets it back into Haled. Gets it over to Turam, who does shoot. Don Ruben makes the save. No. No, is that the last chance we get? That was a decent chance. Dembele is in. Gets it over. Koble saves it. That's full time, I think. No, we had a chance. Ten men. We fought so hard in this game. We gave ourselves such a tougher challenge by going down to ten men, but oh, the team showed so much fight. We almost tied it up. Now, the only way we make it through, I think, is if a certain team drew and we beat them on goal difference or head to head, but I'm not sure we're going to do that. I'm not sure there was an outcome that gave us that possibility.
Oh, I feel sick. I feel sick to my stomach. So Milan beat Newcastle 3-2. Uh, and we finished third in our group. We were so close. And funny thing is, even if we drew, then we still wouldn't have made it through, actually. So that last goal didn't even matter. We needed to beat PSG because Milan beat Newcastle. So, oh, man, it was always going to be so tough. At least we're in the Europa League now. We're still in Europe, but that hurts so bad. I just think how that group finished uh, reflects the best team in that group. I feel like we're the third best team in that group. We're not better than PSG, and we're not better than AC Milan. At least not yet. All right, now we got to focus on January the transfer window is opening so we have a sit down talk with Jaden Sancho and Sancho says I don't want to play for Manchester United I want to stay here at Dortmund but they want me back and they're in control of my contract so for me to stay you'll have to negotiate with them now in January we have 136 million to spend and if we want Jaden Sancho permanently we're gonna have to pay probably around like 65 million which that's a lot of money I mean United signed him for what probably more than that but that's still a lot for a player that wants to leave and he's not even playing for them I feel like it's worth it though I feel like Sancho is still only 23 years old he's 83 rated I feel like at Dortmund that's the place for him to to revive his career to save his career so we're gonna try to save sancho for manchester united save his career pretty sure in the comments you guys wanted us to sign him permanently anyway so we are going to try to i'm gonna try to get a deal here though i'm gonna start with like 57.5 hopefully a respectable offer and eric ten Hag is gonna want 79.7 that's just so much all right 72.5 they're going to want 76 man it's gonna cost 75 million that is so much money but 75.8 they still want more now this right here is a risk because sancho could be like you know a player that doesn't grow anymore or he can grow to like the 90 90s maybe so it's a lot of money it's a big risk but we're gonna try and save sancho's career at dortmund i feel like it's only right so no longer just on loan sancho is here permanently at barissa dortmund and we've saved him from old trafford saved him from eric ten hog more specifically so now it's official Jaden sancho welcome home welcome back to barissa dortmund now that's not the only signing we're gonna make in january we still have plans but we are gonna try to sell a few players here now first one is thomas moinier i mean he's a player that hasn't played at all i feel like wolf is better and moinier just isn't quick at all and i need i need a fast right back so for 6.5 million to get with i feel like that makes sense i guess he is the sasha boy replacement um bayern munich want marco royce uh no all right more near sorry but he didn't play much uh see you later now a player that i'm gonna try to sell that is a little bit controversial is uh the striker uh nicholas volkrug i mean I know, I know in real life he's playing amazing actually but in game special Atlanta is just so much better than him so it makes sense to like cash in on volkrug because we also have makoko we got Jakobsen. it just makes sense to sell him right now he's 30 years old now the biggest problem this team i think is our right back spot i don't mind wolf as a backup but we need a better starting right back someone who's quicker and has more pace based too. And yeah, Sasha Bowie would have been the perfect right back for us, but we may have found a really good second option here. And that is Alexander Ba playing at Benfica currently. He's 26 years old from Denmark. He's 80 rated and he looks like a very well-rounded right back who's also got a lot of physicality at six foot. And also he's got 90 pace. Like he looks really, really good. Good pace, good defending, good physical. He's got five-star weak foot so he could play left back too. That could be good for the future maybe. But he is one of like the most well-rounded right backs I've seen, I think. And he's not that expensive. So I feel like he'd be a huge like defensive piece for this team going forward. So I'm going to try like 20 29.5 see what benfica say to that they are going to want 31.5 i can do that 31.5 this sounds like a really good deal for us and also he's a player that i've never signed before i don't think so that's always a plus but alexander ba welcome to barissa dortmund this could be such a big improvement to our defense so this could be like a hidden gem signing so alexander ba welcome to barissa dortmund finally we have that new right back reinforcement so ba goes straight in the starting 11 i mean those stats look so good i have no doubt he'll upgrade our defense now we still have 28 million left but i feel like bringing uh sancho in bringing ba in. That might be it for transfers for us in January. We have a lot of players here. We have a lot of players in different positions. Like we have a lot of wingers. We have like four strikers. We have midfielders. So I feel like for this first season, we don't need anything more. Any more will be too much, I think. And also, Julian Brent is finally back from his injury, so that's kind of like a new signing there. He's gonna be very big for us. Actually, he's probably the starter now that he's back. Now I feel like it's probably gonna be big changes in season two, like big changes. But rest of the season, we go with this team here, and we try to do our best in the Bundesliga, try to win uh, the Europa League, and try to just develop all these players. So just like that, the transfer window is now shut. I feel like Alexander Ba has proved to be a very big signing for us this season and now that sancho's here permanently we saved him we now have to try to get the best out of him all right so next game on our schedule is in the europa league now it's sad that we dropped down here but i feel like we have a good chance to win this if we can beat some of the better teams like united are in it still uh, napoli now i believe this is round of 32 we have drawn a team that i cannot pronounce the name of which means we should be able to beat them by just simming this we should not have to play to beat this team the first leg i mean come on we should win this first leg is going to be uh three two we barely beat them by one goal hello at emory chan and emory chan scored okay if we lose to this team i'm gonna lose lose my mind actually second leg is gonna be okay there we go four nil emory chen adiemi and uh joe bellingham scoring look at that okay so now on to the round of 16 of the europa league all right now we face hoffenheim in the bundesliga which we're actually not doing bad in the league 22 games in we're only five points off Bayern with the game at hand so if we win this game we'd only be two points off them and they still have not lost the game this year so wait we are still in this title race now it's gonna be our first game using bot right back which i'm excited about that uh Malin's out with the red so we're gonna put sancho on the left wing we're gonna do that let's bring up maybe uh let's bring up yakson because he's the most energy 
strategy, I guess. And we go with that lineup against Hoffenheim. Now, I'm not expecting uh, Ba to fix all of our defense problems, but having a right back that's that good, that will round in like passing wise, defensive wise, it should be a big improvement. We'll see. Ba, first touch of using him. Welcome to Dortmund. All right, Sancho. Okay, Sancho's taken out immediately. First, uh, pretty much play the game. Come on, send him off. Send him off. That is going to be, it's going to be a yellow card, huh? Yeah, it's going to be a yellow. All right, Julian Brandt, welcome also to the team. Welcome back. Ball to Turam. That, that corner, that cross is blocked. Sancho, transfer finesse shot. That's handball. Give me that free kick. I'll take it. Wait, actually. Let's try this again. Matson, good cross. That was right at Julian Brandt. Matson, Turam into Julian Brandt. Okay, that pass was so telegraphed. Led Julian Brandt. Brandt into Kareem Adiemi. This could be a great start. Adiemi shoots and... In off the post, that is a great start. Okay, Kareem, the dream at Yemi makes it 1-0 within 10 minutes. Great pass by Julian Brandt. Good to have him back. Okay, great start. Let's keep this going. All right, Ba, first defensive action. Ba, that is some good defending from our new right back. Now, look at the pace, too. Fashion lad into Ba. He is on his bicycle. Okay, yeah, he's very quick. We have missed this. The right back spot, Ba. Tries to get it back. Okay, we had no help there. He was like too fast for everyone. Dula Brandt gets it to Turam. Turam back to Emery Chan, who's shooting this because we know he's got long shots. That'll be a corner though. Okay, corner swung in. That is going to go right to Emery Chan. Header. That was a good header. Adeyemi crossing again. Someone's got to fight for that Emery Chan. That one goes over the net though. Okay, we look good this game though. We look good. Okay, they got a free kick. Man, these free kicks at like the middle of the field are actually always kind of dangerous, just like this. See, they're always dangerous. I always feel like they're going to they're gonna score from him. Corner for them. Swung in. Cobalt, you have that Cobalt. That is some strong goalkeeping right there. Yeah, it's good pass over. Off and I'm getting slowly more into this game, which is not a good thing for me. Ball top of the box. Emery Chan tries to close him down. Turam. Turam. That should be a good tackle. Gets by though. Matsin gets by him. This is some good passing and good uh, breaking down of our defense right here. In to the striker. Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck. That is such a good tackle though. All right. Ball out to the new signing Alexander Ba. He's going to get it to Turam. Turam. Bring it back out. Turam. Now to Julian Brandt. Good turn into Sebastian Aledo can't, yeah, he's just so slow turning there. That's his one downside. If he gets the ball, like, facing away from goal, he just can't really turn that quick. Julian Brandt, Aledo, we got Sancho making a run. Actually, Adiemi's in, though. Adiemi cuts inside. Can go for the shot, but he was just offside. That is so unfortunate. Julian Brandt, Matson, man. Having Matson on the wing, just a faster left back, you can already see how much he opens up the offense, too. By Boz, do now doing that same thing on the right-hand side. But, okay, he's not helping us here. Beghorst gets it back. Do not let them tie it up run halftime. This would be terrible. Ball in. Shula, just clear it. Shula clears it. Okay. We feel like in control of this game, but that second goal would actually show it. So, still a lot to do this game. Oh, this is dangerous. Murray, I was a dangerous player. Okay, we went for an aggressive tackle there that didn't work. Gonna be another shot. Veghorst gets it over. That's a good block. Schlotterbeck has had such a good season, though, in defense. He makes so many big plays like that right there. And they're having a lot of the ball to start second half, which is also just not good. Matson, we cannot let them have this much of the ball because they're likely to score. Schlotterbeck, okay, Matson and Schlotterbeck. That was some good combo defending there. Ram gives it to Sancho. Let's get this second goal here. Ram through to Sebastian Aled. And now he's got Sancho on the run behind. Sancho. Plays it over to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt, welcome back to the team. And he just hit the post. He just actually smacked the post. That was a good shot. Cross in. Shula, good clearance. Turam wins it back to Sancho. Okay, wait, who was injured? Who was injured? Oh, I thought it was uh, one of my players. I mean, no disrespect to Veghorst. Um, get better soon, I guess. Okay, this is a very interesting corner routine, which they might get a good shot out of this. That's a shot, and it just gets by all my center backs. Oh, we can't let them score that easily. It was a short corner routine. They just basically, like, passed it into the box. They found this guy, and then we couldn't close him down quick enough. Like, Shula. That you gotta slide over there or something. I mean, this is what we get for not extending our lead. It's now 1 1. Come on, I feel like we're still gonna win this game. I'm confident. Turam into Haled. Haled gets it back to Emery Chan. I need runners here. I need someone. Find an opening. Gonna go back to Liam Brandt. Get it to Turam. Turam. And shoot that. And that's gonna be blocked. Eddie Emmy back to Turam. Into Brandt. This is so congested. Turam, though, finds space. Goes for a shot. And how does Turam miss that? I guess it was his weak foot, though. That shot felt like awkward when we hit it. Okay, we're bringing Jakobsen on for Haled and then Makoko on for uh, Sancho because Sancho's tired. We got some young energy on the field now. 15 minutes to try and win this game. Jakobsen to Makoko. The subs combining. Okay, that was a little bit bad, but this might not be bad. Jakobsen. Plays it too. That was such a slow attack. The ball would not go quick enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me he's offside, right? I was about to say, if he's onside, that was such a good pass. Okay, time is running out here, though. We got to hurry up. Brandt to Turam. Okay, we got space in the middle. Turam, find that space. Gets it to Jakobsen. Into Liam Brandt. Get it back to Turam. Turam, chance to score a big goal. The shot is right at the keeper, though. Not yet, yet, though. Jakobsen. Gets it to Brandt. Julian Brandt into Makoko. What a finish by Makoko. 88th minute. That might be the winner in this game. Man, that's a big goal from a very young player with a bright future. That finish was so calm and collected, like outside the boot. Have we just gone two points within Bayern? And Julian Brandt, we have missed him so much. But Makoko, what a big finish that is. Okay, I'm throwing on uh, Ozchan at CDM. Let's get, uh, let's get Wolf for uh, Matson, then throw Wolf on the right side. And I think we leave it at that. Actually, let's do Nemecha for Brandt. Come on. We need more, like a little bit more defense in the team. Three minutes. Minutes to hold this lead. All right, how much 
chat it on. We got probably a minute at least. It's gonna be actually one minute. Of course, it's a minute at least. Come on, if we steal this, it's game. Okay, they didn't go quick enough. That is game. Man, that was a tough win. We really should have won this game like 3-1, 4-1, but a 2-1. That's three points. I'll take it. And we are now only two points off Bayern Munich. So like Jakobsen last episode, Makoko steals the headlines in this game. And we are now two points within Bayern, like I said. Okay, next up is Rangers in the Europa League round of 16. I feel like we're a lot better than Rangers, like a lot better. So we're gonna sim the first leg, see what happens. So first leg is gonna be three nil to Brucey Dorman, Schlotterbeck, Malin, and Malin. Okay, I feel like we're already through now. Second leg is gonna be three two, but it's gonna be six two in aggregate. So, and okay, we're through to the Europa League quarterfinals now. That was uh, pretty simple. Okay, now our next game though is in the league again. We're facing Frankfurt and uh, Bayern have still not lost a game. Same as last time, game in hand, and we're five points off them. So win here, we stay within that two point gap and keep this title race alive because it's only us versus Bayern right now. Everyone else has just fallen off. Now a day before this game though, we're meeting with Sebastian Kale, our sporting director. So we have a sit down meeting with him and he says, Tyster, your contract with Dortmund was initially for only one season. And if it were up to only me, I'd give you a contract extension right now. But the higher ups want to wait till the end of the season to evaluate and see if they want to keep you as the manager for next season. So he says, just want to be clear and honest with you. How we end this season will affect their decision. Yeah, of course. Like we needed more pressure, right? I mean, the Champions League was a big disappointment, but us challenging Bayern for the title when they're unbeaten, I would say that's a pretty big plus. We are still in the DFB Pokal. We're in the semifinals now versus Augsburg. So also Europa League quarterfinals, it's not bad. So in this game, we got to try and keep that two point gap between us and Bayern. So that's the lineup we use against Frankfurt. Um, Emily and Brandon Sancho were a little tired, not sharp. So Joe but Bellingham starts at cam. It's a decently big game for him. And also Matson was tired, so we rotate uh, Ben Spaini in at left back. Now if we lose, Bayern get a five point lead, which obviously is not good. So we got to keep that two point uh, gap. Now Ba into Sebastian Alet Hilaire has got options here. Gets it into Adeyemi who shoots. Kareem Adeyemi, what a finish. It's taken only four minutes and we're up 1-0. Man, Kareem Adeyemi is having a good end of this season. He's becoming that star for Brissy Dortmund. Like it's a very close, uh, tight dribble here. Just one touch and then what a good finish off balance. Okay, four minutes in, it's 1-0. You know, I'd like a game where we win like 3-1, 4-1. It isn't going down to the final like 20 minutes. I would like a game like that for once. Now, Alexander Baugh could whip this in. Gonna go for an early cross that is a good cross, but no one is there for it. Alex, that's not your fault. Look at that. Mario Goza is playing against uh, Dortmund. Man, what happened to him? Kind of crazy. He was like the biggest Warner kid when I started playing FIFA. And then he just kind of did not go the direction everyone thought he would. Why would we go to ground there? Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck again. A goal saving defensive play. Okay, free kicks sent in. These are those dangerous ones. Schlotterbeck, though, gets it. On defense, stay focused. Schlotterbeck again. He has just been so good. Adeyemi gives it to Hilaire. Alexander Baugh is making that run. It's not, it's not a bad idea, but it doesn't reach him. Oh, our counter, though. Our press actually gets it through into so actually Malin, and Malin makes it 2-0. And that is our pressing that we've instilled into this team. Our uh, tactical vision just working there perfectly. Okay, 2-0 so far. This game has been decent. Let's just keep it up, though. Okay, we got a free kick. It's going to go to uh, back to Turam. I want to shoot this so bad. Okay, let's be a little bit more patient. Emery Chan out to Ba. Now we got options that are actually in the box. And Sebastian Aleta, that was such a good header. It's a better save, though. Corner sent in. That is going to go to Schlotterbeck. And that was a good header, but also goes wide. Okay, this is not a bad attack from uh, Frankfurt gets it in. That's gonna might be a goal. Oh, he just slid that in past Koble. That was such like a nifty finish. Everyone's expecting power here. They never go for these kind of shots. He just decides to like pass it into the net. Okay, that was just a very bad defensive sequence. Like we were out of position there. And now it's 2-1. They're back in the game. Okay, final chance. The first half. Job is running here. Job. As a pass, maybe. Okay, he was just taken out there. That's not a foul, though. How is that not a foul? They just took Job out. Okay, two and a half time. This game is not over by any means, even though it probably should be. Well, let's get this third. Take control of this game. This might be a good start here. Malin gets it back, and then Haled. Chance to shoot, which would be a big goal, but it goes wide from Sebastian Haled. Ram into Ben Spaini. Ben Spaini, good pass. Job. Oh, no. That was going to be such a good pass to Haled. It was going to be in there. And I'm nervous. I hate just one goal leads on these sliders. It just never feels safe. I want this third. Taram, I see you. Taram, we have a pass. We have options here. Get it to Malin. No, Malin. That wasn't supposed to go all the way to Adeyemi. That was supposed to go back to Taram. Oh, this is getting to one of those just another, just a tight game. Whoa. Schlatterbeck just got beat there, but the ball goes out. Come on, we need this third here. Job. Taram. Taram has Haled through. Haled. Does he have the pace? No, not quite. Job into Emery Chan. Get it back to Job. Into Turam. Turam. Back to Job. Bellingham. Left footed shot looks decent, but Trap makes the save. Bro, one of these has to go in here. Okay, I'm going to do Makoko. Actually, let's do Jakobsen for Haled and then Makoko for Malin. Let's do that again. And then I'll do Royce for Bellingham. I feel like we need some experience on the field here. At least down the middle, then some fresh legs up top. Makoko or Jakobsen, do you guys have a big goal on you in this game? I could use it right now. Come on, this could be it. We got room here. Royce plays it to Makoko. Makoko, good turn. Into Jakobsen. Jakobsen. Oh my, that pass from Makoko is so bad. Royce. Gets it back into Jakobsen. 
turns to Ram to Makoko. That should be it. No, I was so patient there. We still can't score it. Man, that pass to Jakobsen ruined though. That first pass from Makoko that was so bad. No, are they gonna score on the other end now? Are they gonna score? Please don't let it be Goatse to Ram. No, couldn't get a tackle there. Go ahead, say he's going to score it. Oh my, he's actually going to score because we can't get a tackle in. On one end, we should have scored. Instead, they've tied up. Oh, I just feel I just feel sick, bro. I thought we won it there. Oh, we should have scored our chance to make it 3-1. We get punished again for not extending our lead. Okay, we're winning this game. I'm calling it. I am not losing this game here. Ba to Adeyemi. Adeyemi could run here. Wait for Ba. Gets it to Alexander Ba. Could cross it. Does cross it. Okay, that's going to fall. Ba. Gets it into Jakobsen, who does shoot. Second chance to shoot. Jakobsen shoots and Trap still makes that save. You gotta be kidding me. Kareem Adeyemi, cross in. That is Emery Chan and Trap makes another save. We need a Royce corner here. Royce, I need that delivery. Goes to, oh, that just wasn't that good actually. Emery Chan gets it back to Jakobsen. I can't shoot with him there. Emery Chan into Jakobsen, into Tarim. Why was that so slow? Oh, everyone is just so slow in the box there. Okay, now they're in here. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. Shula catches up Shula. It's going to be a corner. Okay, that's good defending though. Corner sent in. That is cleared. Right to Adeyemi, who's now in stride. Adeyemi, I need you to run here, please. Oh, he needs help though. Adeyemi needs help. Come on. Good pass. Good pass here. It is on time. And Kai Jakobsen scores. What a goal by the next Holland again. Bro, this kid is clutch. He's only 17 years old. Hey, all credit to Adeyemi, though. He made that run, and it was a good pass. Just perfectly timed. Another late winner. Like, boys, can we win a game normally? Okay, still, though, I will take the three points if we get it. Man, Kai Jakobsen, what a finish. Talk about a big game player. All right, final sub is Wolf on for Ba. How much time is left, though? Please, ref, blow the whistle, please. Do they have a chance here? Okay, they got about 30 seconds to get forward here. Come on, ref. Please, thank you, ref. Oh, man. Another, like, close win. These games are close, though. They're challenging. Man, Makoko last game coming through. Now, this game, Adiemi and Jakobsen. Like, the youth in this team coming through for us. And also, this kid's gonna be an absolute star. I can already tell. Jakobsen's dramatic late goal seals Dortmund win. And uh, most importantly, keeps us in this Bundesliga title race. We are two points within Bayern. Like I said, we're in the DFB Pokal semifinals and also Europa League quarterfinals. We've drawn a team here that could probably win the Europa League. So we are set up for a very big season finale, starting with maybe a Bundesliga title decider versus Bayern Munich away. It is going to be insane. Can we do something special with this Dortmund squad? And can the youth players carry us to maybe a trophy? If you want to see that, then drop a like down below. And if you want to watch episode one of our new name, our player crew mode over on Tyster Plus, then click on screen for that.